just do a quick, just do a quick maths on your phone. Yeah. Just do, just let's call it, let's be, let's call it 15k. Yeah. Times 200. 15K times 200. Yeah, three mil. Yeah, three mil. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I was the first man who was battering MySpace back in the day. Okay. So them lot used to be baffled. They was like, "Rah, how are you able to hit numbers and you're not out flaring every week?" Yeah. But I was just literally on MySpace, just talking to girls. Yeah. Social yeah. media changed I the whole raving, girls, was raving industry. Social media. So we're, we're going back to what you're saying now. So we got 2000. What you say? So you say your biggest marketing tool was what? So the birthdays. The birthday is always checking up on people. One, so like all the time, I just check up on people on Instagram and around them. So. I think, even though I'm very antisocial and social, in one day I could probably chat to like a good 150 plus people in my day. So, because I'm. So, to all those girls who doesn't reply to messages, you know, no. This guy. No, you know what is it? No, no. I'll tell you this. No, 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 I won't reply. No, no. I won't reply. No, no. Gabriel, no, leave it. No, where's focus? Focus, focus. If you're in my DMs and all you're, you're, you're doing is talking about how you want to link me or blah, 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 right now it's not, it's, it's not benefiting me, is it? So I don't really want to hear that. I'm trying to focus. I'm trying to focus on what's going to grow me, innit? I'm trying to expand my business and everything. She wants, so, to, grow, she wants to grow that. Ah, she's not going to see the growth of this. She wants to grow that. This one's not growing for her. She wants to, she wants to build the enterprise. No, she wants no. to grow that. She's not building this one. I'll tell you another trick. All the nicest girls, you know, on Instagram, that you know, all the men, them like, get them to post your flyers. But, but, so, but how'd you get them to do that, though? Huh? I'm a likable person. You're <laughs> buff, innit? <laughs> I see the teeth uh, white. <laughs> when you're starting off, you don't have a following because this day and age, everyone respects the following, like you know, 10k, 30k. Obviously, you know what, yeah. how do like, you kind of grow without? I've always had a following, even okay. off socials. Mm. So like, even if I didn't have socials, I've always had like a, a network. Yeah, I've always had a network. So growing up, I was always known. I don't know how, but it's just one of those things that, let's say, like. Uh, I went to two schools, then I went to the Bayes College in the South, SFX. Then uh, I played on Brixton Top Cats, which was like the Bayes basketball team in the South. Mm -hmm. Then uh, after that, I always used to be in like East London all the time when I was on the 16s playing against Hackney's White, Hackney White Heat, which was like an East London Royals, which are like two of the Bayes teams in that area. So I ended up knowing Bear Man from East. So before you know, they're linking me up with loads of people in the area. Then in West London, Westminster Warriors and Northwest Capitals, which I played for at one point, I'm linking up with Manning from West and Northwest. So before you know it, I'm linking up with people from different areas and I'm mixing in their circles. So by the time I was at 18, I've absorbed all these people's circles. So when I got to uh, 18, shout out Mr. Play and Uncle Frank, they was taking me out to their dances, text me and these dances when I meant to be going to college and the next morning, I'm, going to uh, grown people's dances with them man then they're introducing me to all these girls who are like 21, 22, 23, 24 so by the time uh, that year's gone I went into uni and just before I turned 19 Frank brought me in on a rave at a departure lounge that rave's banged, done good it was me, my boy Patman, Pierre then we branched out and we did I think double pleasure and we all used to wear the same tops with our logos. Know, I know, I know. Yeah, so our event was doing well until some idiot running the dance with a fake plastic toy gun wow. to, to try and shook up someone he had beef with. You know what I mean? Yeah. Then after two days later, he phoned us. Oh man, no, I'm sorry. Blah blah blah. So that kind of killed the brand for years. Them lot tried to bring it back like four years ago, but I was like, no, nah, I'm already solo doing my thing. Like I can't. You know what I mean? So uh, after that started to grow grow then i had another brand called laws of attraction which i still do time to time then i tried to bring all my friends but this is another problem sometimes you want to do business with your friends but you can't do business with every single one of your friends not everyone has got the same mind as you so it might be a thing where we might have an event today and i will sell 200 tickets you sell zero Gabriel will sell 50, Jaheem will sell 
<laughs> minus one. <laughs> I don't know how, but he, he would get. Okay, so he, so he sold none. Yeah, so he, he, he sold none. He sold none. Then you get a girl he likes him for free. So yeah, that's minus one. one. Yeah. So now the rave w- would happen, and imagine I tried to bring all my boys. There's ten of us. We have to split the money even. So I'm going home. Fix, mate. Rah. I've brought three grand to the table. And I'm going home with 250. (laughs) And there's a man bringing minus one. And he's smiling, going home with 250. So one day I said, Right, I'm not doing raves. And I ghosted. So I remember, like, between 09 to like 2016, I wasn't doing raves. The only time I was doing raves was anytime Gabriel would hit me up and say, Oh, let's do our birthday party. And apart from that, that would be it once a year. Then I was kind of like a bit to myself where these lot would be out every weekend and I was working nights, I was working security. I just kind of kept off the scene, kept low key. Then when I went back to uni, my lecture was like, oh, people in the uni are talking about raves you did in 2004. Okay. I saying, why you, yeah. Okay. Cause there was a few people who worked at my uni yeah. who used to go to uni when I originally went the first time before I dropped out. Yeah. So they, they were like, yeah, these people are always talking about raves you used to do back in the day. Like what happened to you? Like, like why did you fall up? Why did you fall off? So I was like, right, like when she's telling me this, I felt like you're talking to me like I'm a has been. <laughs> so I thought, yeah. So I thought, right, let me kind of get onto it. And she was saying, if you start doing events, you're not going to have to be PTing at a high rate. At high, Cause I was, imagine I was still PTing full time in it. So she was like, you won't have to PT at a high frequency while you've got work to do in it. So I thought, wow, well, that makes sense. So I started doing the events again, brought back laws of attraction. After we didn't do it for seven years, but before I did it, I messaged all the man them. I said, right, listen, you lot had seven years to do the event. You lot didn't do nothing with the brand. I said, I'm doing the event. I said, not being bad mind. I'm not trying to bring no one in it. Cause I said, business is business. And I came up with the name one. And two, it's a thing that you lot could have found somewhere all that time. But now if I start doing it and I don't tell you lot, you're going to feel away. So I was like, everyone's got their own responsibilities. People got kids and all of this now. And I know you ain't gonna have the, the time. And I said, right, I'm not being bad man. I'm not willing to sp- split 50-50. So I was like, if you jump on and I'm always doing the bulk, it would be something like 80-20. But it's cause the leg work I'm willing to put in and the time and effort I'm willing to put in on grinding, most men ain't willing to put that, you know what I mean? The only, only, only few people that I come across it like people like Gabriel who are willing to go above and beyond. Like no matter what, no matter what we feel like, even if we're tired, we'll still like we're not gonna make excuses, are we? Yeah. We're still gonna try and push through, even if everyone don't support us. We we'll still try and find a way and just keep on grafting. Because I'm like, right, when people see things that people do, like and they start winning. You start thinking to, to themselves, right, it's overnight. But you got to realise, oh, it's not overnight. A lot of times it's trial and error. You fail like 100 times, 150 times. You know what I mean? Like, I've had raves where, like, I've come in and I'm the only one. You get me? That's where it goes back to. Not pain for it, it, it goes back to when Gabriel said, right. Uh, it's the pain. pain. Gabriel <laughs> said, right. Don't rely, don't rely on your friends and, and, and family for, you know what I mean? Because, yeah. yeah. That's what, the promoters, yeah. that's what the promoters are doing fake phone calls. Just walking around the rave like this. Walking, like, talking, busy. Yeah, what you say, yeah, cousin? Yeah, yeah. What time you man reaching? And bro. Yeah, yeah. See, see, see. All right, cool, Instead cool, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? It's fixed cost, the rent as well. Huh? And then you've got bar spend. Bar spend, you still have, yeah. So all of that comes out your pocket. So there's been some, there's, there's been some real L's, but you just have to keep on pushing. Most people, it will break them. Most people, they'll stop. Most people go into depression, like, ah, oh, yeah, boom, 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 boom. I think what's funny is that a lot of people will do a birthday, yeah? Mm-hmm. And they think that they could do a rave. Because they'll get like maybe 200 people, 100 people at their birthday, they think they can mm-hmm. do raves. What's the key difference? I'll, I'll give you an example. Right. So mm-hmm. now, now he said that, mm-hmm. all right, so a lot of people have seen Summer Love. The first one I did was on my birthday, but it, was, it wasn't even meant to be my birthday party. It was just the timing. Mm-hmm. You get me? So the timing. My boy Daps has hit me and said, oh yeah, let's do a rave, da 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 on around this week. I said, right, funny enough, my birthday is the same week. I said, right, for real, yeah. He's found the venue. We thought, let's run it. So we've done it, it's banged. Then I was like, nah, we can't just leave it and wait till next year. I was like, six weeks to the end of summer, let's do it again. But that's hit even harder than my birthday. So a few people have come and attended the following year. 
they seen someone off, they try to reach out to the venue to do event. Because mm. they've seen me and thinking, right, if yeah. he can do it, I can do it. But I'm like, I do events. It just happened to, yeah, yeah. just yeah, it just happened to be the right time, right setting. And what we've done as well, we collected loads of footage and loads of people were posting on their uh, Snapchat with the filter, free Instagram, market. free marketing. So free a lot of people was like, oh, what's this dance you was at? So the next year, I'll just hit on people and say, oh, post uh, a throwback of someone love and post the, the flyer for me. So everyone's posted a throwback and posted the flyer. So the next year, boom, then uh, we had, before the lockdown, the year before lockdown, we had, uh, remember the one, bring your own bottle? The, the yes, yes. easy edition. Mm. That was my worst trade, but I can't even lie to you. I hated that Why rave. Why did you even like, I, start to talk to bring bottles? I hated that rave. I, I told you about bro, it. Bro, it never worked. No, 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 it, it worked. Yeah. It worked. Yeah. It worked. What, that, so bro, that rave made me a mad. It made me a madness. It made me a madness. I can't even lie. That's uh, that's how uh, the rollie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, 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 you, but you made less than you made in your average. No, 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 no. It made me a madness, but I hated it with no, a passion. No, but I mean, talking about profit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It made, it made me, more profit than people to bring their own drinks. Yeah, yeah, it made me a madness. But I'll tell you, I'll tell you why I hated it so much. You see when people are drunk and you've given them no limit on what they can drink. They don't know. Financial they don't know yeah, yeah. yeah. Financial you see when yeah. when people see like when people see a, a bottle of uh, Ciroc is 120, they become, they, 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 they become humble with their drinking. So they, they start sipping like when you when you say bring your own bottle, they start drinking a whole bottle. So by the time it gets to nine o'clock here, the things I was seeing, girls rolling on the floor. I was baffled because I was the only one sober. So every every little thing people was doing was irritating me. Like, yo, cheers. Yo, my down. brother, yeah, I love you. Yo, the love convict. I was looking at him thinking, oh, you yeah. call me, man. Like, what's wrong with you? So it kept on happening. And after the dance, I'm looking at my shirt. My top is all stained, bare makeup, blah, blah, blah. And I'm thinking to myself, rah, you lot are moving like crackheads. The next day, I showed some people footage of them themselves. And I was like, rah. You should be kind of embarrassed about the way you're moving. They're like, oh, when's the next one? I said, no, I'm not doing that dance again. But yeah, go back to... So even if it made you like the most, no, you're not going to do it again? No, I'm not doing that version. I'd rather people pay pay for drinks at, at bar prices. It's less stress because people become more behaved and they start remembering that they've got cars to drive. Because even outside, there was, there was vomit. We had to pay we had to pay about £600 here for a cleaning company to clean in front of all the businesses on that road okay. to make sure that they don't find the venue. Yeah, it was a madness. It was a madness, but it was one of the things, that party there was good for advertising. Because even though I hated it, the footage of that party was so lit mm. that when you said the 2001, everyone was catting to come because they yeah. saw that one. Yeah. So that one party that I hated blew it up to a different version because I think we had uh, 1,200. So my birthday one this year, we've already hit 1,200. So we might hit 3,000. Yeah, because most of the tickets normally sell closer Last to the time. Weeks. Yeah, so we might hit about 3,000. So that's gonna be that's gonna be crazy, man. So yeah, each year now from then on, I guess we're just gonna keep on scaling up to it's like a, a grand festival where I guess in about three four years we're we're aiming for that 10,000 one a year event. You know what I mean? Because once you start hitting the 3,000, it's best not to do it too often yeah. so that people miss it, look forward to, look it. Forward to it. So when you know that, Rah, if I miss this year, I might not see it in another year, then you can just keep on scaling, yeah. You thought that doing it internationally, you're gonna keep it kind of domestic for now? Uh, I wanted to do it in Nigeria, like around Christmas time. This whole COVID thing and the whole affirmation cancelling. Yeah, affirmation just uh, taking a piss. Look at me, it's made as a G. Years. For doing that event, he's a G. Mm. For for putting that event on, he's a G. But brother, two years, people have got bachelor of degrees. Bachelor of degrees in Afro Nation. <laughs> They've got about three years. Man, have got degrees in Afro Nation. Man has held the money and said, "Don't worry, you get it next year. Oh. You get it next year." But the problem is that he's he's paid so many people. Mm. Like you got maybe he's paid venues. Mm. He's, he's paid, paid DJs. Yeah. He's paid acts, acts artists. Yeah. He ain't giving nothing. Yeah. He can't give the money back. Yeah. I remember that money, you don't get back. Yeah. All they do is transfer it to another day. Yeah. Okay. So you, you can't get it back. So he's yeah. probably spent close to maybe a million pounds. Yeah. Thing. Yeah, yeah, easily. Look at what eyes he's booking. Acts. But he's got like about ten A-list acts, wow. and they're not they're not performing for less than fifty to hundred bags. Yeah. They, they get half of their money. They get half they of their money. Spend, in advance. Spend close to so the ticket money mm. is half of the money. Wow. 
he's spent, well. he's yeah. definitely spent yeah. on logistics close yeah. to a mil. Wow. Yeah. And you wanted to be refunded tickets. Yeah. That's business, you're not getting anything back. I'm not giving you, if it was me, I'm not giving money. I'll hold people your money ransom. Huh? People liable to like sue. No, because because I had a ticket, sir. Remember, he's not he's, remember, he's not cancelling the event. Mm -hmm. It's just being moved to another day. Yeah. I wouldn't give it back. He spent at least, he spent close to a million pounds on venue, marketing, acts, DJs. Remember, the first one he had like Wizkid, Burner, Jay Huss, um, Buju Banton, Steph... Bob, did, you think Wizkid is performing for less than 50 bags? Then you got Jay Huss, then you got Burner Boy. The list of acts was a Mazza. It was a Mazza. Come nice. on, Bob. Hey, hey, really, come on, you, even though it's sad, because people are like, I don't make money, I don't make money, I don't make money. You, you go there in 2026, don't worry. <laughs> Don't worry, when Whiskey, when Whiskey's on a wheelchair, he's old. <laughs> you roll on the stage in his wheelchair and you finally perform Essence. <laughs> well, finally perform Essence. A million pound I spent and I'm giving you your ticket money back. You're bluffing. But I'll show you how, how good money is in, in, in events. Afro Nations, what, how many people? Afro Nation. I think it was about, what, 10,000 people? When? More what? than that. Was it more than 10,000 we said? Yeah, it has to be more than 10k. I don't know, I don't know. You reckon it's more than 10,000? Yeah, more than 10k. So, what, between 15 and 20? Yeah. So that's 20,000 people. Mm -hmm. I, I, I probably assume that the tickets were probably what? For Afro Nation, it was like two bills? Yeah, easy. So just, just do a quick, just do a quick maths on your phone. Yeah. Just do, just, just call it, let's be, let's call it 15K. Yeah, times 200. 15K times 200. Yeah, yeah three mil. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> I see, I see. So imagine, yeah, if it wasn't for COVID, yeah, you had. Remember that? That's he, had, he had Afro Nation, Portugal. Afro Nation, Puerto Rico, Afro Nation, Ghana. Yeah, that's yeah. It. So remember this. Let's we 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 let's let's say up. it's two bills. Yeah, that's three mil. Let's say he's spending one point five. Let's even say he's out going to two mil. Mm. It's a million pounds. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. It's good business. You spent two mil, you got a mil back. It's good business. Yeah. It's a good. That's good business. Like oh, just a promoter, just a promoter. You that's doing. What I'm saying, there's nothing wrong with nine to fives. Or you that's disrespecting promoters when you're doing oh, nine no. to five. The guy can do one Afro Nation and get a mil. The tax man may collect 50%, so that's 500 bags. How about, how about, how about, remember we was talking about uh, Mr. Rugg's party? Yeah. And <laughs> the cheapest table, so there's 147 tables in, in the dance. Mm -hmm. The cheapest six tables were five grand. Oh, jeez. Cheapest. One table. The cheapest so six. Do the maths again. Do five the maths. Times 140. So 5,000 times 140. Yeah. So, that's it, that's about seven mil. Yeah. Seven mil. Yeah. No, 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 wait. 5,000 so, times 140. 140 times. Oh, 140, times. no, that's like um, 700,000. Yeah, 700,000. One event. So, the cheapest tables, there was only six tables that were five grand. One event. So, on average, the tables were 10, 15, 20. So, There's money in events. One rave probably brought in like 1.4 mil. <laughs> one rave. <laughs> one rave. There's money in events. People don't realize there's, there's money in events. If, if once you once you put your network and you got people that spend, and here's the joke. The key to get your network. Uh, but here's the joke. If you don't have the do, 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 network, you have a very good event. Do you need it? Is it like part of the equation? You can't have a very good event without right, a network. network yeah. No, but I mean, do you need network as in reachability? Do you need that reach? Because you can have a banging event. You can okay, get really. Give an really example. Good. I got two mates, Taser and Matthew. Okay. Yeah, they do faded. Yeah. They built that event maybe about almost ten years ago. Yeah. When you've built your event to such a brand. You don't even need to have big DJs. Yeah. Okay. Just put Faded on the flyer. You, didn't, you haven't got to name the DJs. People are going. It, it's, it, it's like that, that party, that Mr. Ruggs party he was talking about. He, he didn't have no acts. Okay. The, the, the celebrities were phoning him to book tables. Wow. You get me? So you have people like Meat Mill there, Yo Gotti, Moneybag Yo, like James Harden. These people attend those parties like yearly whenever he does Ruggs weekend or whenever he does his birthday party. These people are paying to spend, so you're getting the, the the top of the top flying from everywhere. You're getting these influencers who normally ask you to pay for them to, to, to come attend, to come to, to an event, event, paying money to go to that event because he's built his brand so strong that it's crazy. The money the, the money he sees off doing a weekend. Remember, that's only one party. He had a whole weekend. He had Friday, he had day party Saturday, night party Saturday, day party Sunday, night party. Sunday and a Monday Monday night party so imagine you've had in a weekend you've had, you've had six events I, I've had to learn here yeah, to let people in because yeah. before yeah I used to be one of those people that I don't feel like I need no one you get what I'm saying but if you're a likable character your thing starts to grow organically so it's a bit of like, um, you know exhibiting a certain behavior over a long period of time 
like you say, people when people gradually see what kind of person you are, then they'll start. Yeah, like, they, 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 start, they kind of, okay. they kind of, they, they kind of champion you. Yeah, so, so like, like sure. for instance, where I was saying to myself, uh, where I was saying earlier, that my engagement might only be one point five five. Yeah. But you see, the one point five five people that engage with me now, their engagements are madness. Mm. So, yeah. even though like uh, a brand might see like, ah, oh, uh, my engagement is small uh, compared to what they need, but if I put a post now. Hackney's finest is going to share straight away without me asking. London's very own Ken is going to share straight away without me saying a thing. Quick Session is going to share. Live on Social is going to share. Uh, BLB in the UK is going to share. So those are five powerful pages on Instagram. But I don't need to say nothing and them five will just boom, amplify my reach. So it's your, your network and the people you surround yourself with and roll with are very, very important. You know what I mean? Michael will see it. Boom, share it. You know what I mean? Tony Okawale will see it. So Gabe will see it, boom, boom, boom. The so you people can't, you can't really buy a huh? network. You can't really buy a network. It has to be done through like, actual like social like um network. Yeah, it's, like, you yeah, actually it's, you it's, can't it's, 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 that. it's the people it, it's usually the people around you yeah. that, that kinda of champion you and put you into the place you need to be, you know what I mean? So I I think I won't even say it's luck, I just think that like minds kinda of align with each other. You know what I mean? You kinda of attract the people who are similar to you where me and Gable's met through uh, mutual friends. This is probably about 2008. We've met through mutual friends, but we become closer than the people we met. Because you're like-minded and you're very similar. We're very similar, you know what I mean? So we hang around with each other more than the other people. That they're still in our circle, but I won't. I won't think. I won't even say they're in our immediate. They're not in our immediate immediate. Even though we still hang with them, but we're closer than we are to the rest of them. If you get what I mean. But it's just due to we both have that kind of same drive where yeah. like you see how many times he's gone on the phone to yeah, reply really? to someone Business or the other day when i was chatting to you mm. i was yeah, replying back to like 20 people mm. i was like in between pt and he was filming like i was constantly busy like i was just on the go so like sometimes like, i'll get up and i'll be like right how the hell did i get through today and through yesterday i say to myself right if i don't do it someone else will do it where it comes back to when gabriel was talking about your job mm. where what companies do is if like you said the money tree goes down yeah. and they're not going to give uh, overtime or blah 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 but in their head they're like raw i might be paying you 120 grand a year the average uk salary is like 40 something That's or 37 yeah, no, so yeah, yeah you know what i mean so they see it like raw if you don't do it i'm gonna go pick someone pick who's someone doing 27 else. who's yeah. making 27 grand and put them in your position and they're gonna go above and beyond you know what i mean so in my head i'm like right even though I'm not working for no one. If I don't do it, mm-hmm. someone else might get that business and they're gonna go above and beyond. So I need to stay on job and just keep on going. Like another thing, if we go to Sion on a Friday or Saturday or on a Sunday, you see Gabriel running up and down, making sure that everyone is, have you been, you know what I mean? And someone's seeing you like on the door greeting people, yeah. you know what I mean, looking after them. The same thing if you go to Soulbox London and someone tried to make a joke in the comments yesterday like rah imagine you come to Soulbox and Keith is serving you food and drinks and then Keith was like yes if you come to Soulbox on a Friday he's like if you come on a Friday Saturday and Sunday you're gonna see me serving you drinks because it's my business so it's yeah. a misconception that like see you don't do any work like, yeah just relax like if yeah. you're a boss you're not gonna you're yeah, not gonna you work at all no nah. like having that personal touch makes a big difference you know what I mean every time I've had a, a lock Sunday or one of my events and I ain't been around the numbers have been low yeah, yeah. so anytime I've gone on holiday the numbers have been low so now I realise that anytime I've got a big party yeah. even if I've got something important to do abroad I'm going to have to push it back I can't go because I know my bread and butter will be affected so you think that mainly coming for you not the event specifically it's part of the it's, box. it's part, part, part of the box. Like, like, like Gabriel said earlier people buy into you like if people well, like if you, the event's no good. Mm. They're not coming. Yeah. So as much as you're part of it, if the yeah. event is not good, they're not coming. Or regardless of your presence, you, yeah. So coming, even if they like you, people, and when people talk about people not supporting, people just don't support because they don't rate what you're doing. Or there's a slight part of them being a hater. But you, so you should decide which, 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 which of the two you think it is. You think it's one of the two. One of the two. They don't rate what you're doing or they're a hater. So it's you to decide which one of the two it is. You get that part as well. So a lot mm. of times here, yeah, I get girls that uh, message me saying, "Ah." Oh, Every time they post my flyer, mm-hmm. they always get guys saying to them, Oh, yeah, Why'd you post how come you're always posting my man for? But I'm like, Rah, you be moaning. And <laughs> the worst thing is, yeah, some of the people who do that, they're not in my, I won't call them close friends, but 
they're closer to me than expected. But I know these things here, yeah, but I'll never tell them that I know what they do. Like, I'll keep them to a safe distance, but I'll never tell them other things that, so like, there might be things I could help them with, but I think to myself, you know what, yeah? <laughs> Bleep you, because, you know what I mean? Nice. <laughs> yeah. yeah, like, because, you're there thinking you're competing with me but these times we could both be championing each other but you're there getting pissed at these girls for posting me but i'm thinking to myself you don't check up on them like i'm a person that i could be driving through your ends now i'll be like raw solo you home uh yeah i'm home all right cool i'm gonna stop for five minutes and, and you know what i mean or i could be like raw Drive past your house, I just thought about you, man. How are you feeling today, bro? Boom, boom, boom. I hope you're good. I hope everything's well. How's the family? Blah, blah, blah. So you don't do these little things. Me, it's it's become second nature. You know what I mean? Before, I never used to be that sociable, but after being around, uh, I'll say one of my friends, Speedy. Speedy, no matter what Speedy's going through, Speedy will phone every single person to make sure they're all right. So after being around Speedy, I'm like, rah, like, you're a very caring person, you know? And he would like, certain times he was having talks and he'd be like, yeah, most people have this misconception where, because I'm very anti, even though I'm sociable, that uh, I'm just not, like, I don't care about anything. But these times, yeah, I do, but sometimes I get so carried away with life that I forget certain things. So like, I kind of made a conscious decision to always check up on people because you never know the last time you must speak to people yeah. and there's times where like some of my brothers you've killed themselves or or they just died randomly and i'm like oh shit like i was thinking to message my man and i was like yeah i'll do it tomorrow tomorrow becomes one week one week six weeks six weeks six months six months one year and you don't realize how fast time goes so now i just try consciously to check up on everyone because i don't want to feel like i'm missing i'm missing a day with someone that i could have had yeah. so me doing stuff like that people just literally just like even strangers i don't know would just be like oh i like what you're doing boom 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 i wish you the best let me support your thing you get me you so feel, you feel huh? like you're always like that or hmm? it was mostly that after your mom like that you realized that you realized realize i you think to do start doing. no you know what it is i've always been like that here but i think after my mom died it's accelerated everything now i value time more than anything people that i didn't expect to reach out and look after me watching after me like random girls i know like ah oh, baby okay da, 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 da. and they will come and they'll cook and they'll drop food and blah 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 but at the same time those girls were trying to take advantage where like your mom has died and they're trying to give you pussy <laughs> You know, the streets, the streets ain't resting for night. It's crazy. The streets don't care about that. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> oh my god. Yo, man, bro. bro. I'm done. I think you're raw. You're trying to, you're the trying streets to beat now. Like, you know what I mean? Like, like, I'm just trying to get it. Don't get me wrong. I don't mind. I don't mind. But come on. I don't. There's a time and a place for it, but. I don't mind. I don't mind. Off camera, I don't mind. There's a time and a place. I don't There's mind. Time and a place. All the things that happen in life, you start to value people a lot more. And you start to value your time with people a lot more. So it's a thing that I'm a person. If you see me in, in real life now, every every single day since I started this YouTube thing, I bump into someone who watches it. Yeah. And we end up having like a 20, 30 minute chat, like even earlier on. There's a, there's a guy who lives on the show, Dave, shout out Dave still, yeah. he's down the road. I'd seen him a couple of times when I'm driving and uh, when I'm going to the cafe, then about a few weeks ago, I think he was walking past and he goes, eh, rah, I clocked you, you clocked me, but it's like, it goes back. He mentioned Gabriel, mm -hmm. he mentioned you and the episode where you're talking about when man them look at each other and it was like, we kind of looked, but we, yeah. you get me? So uh, today now, I'm going into the shop and I've seen him and he was like, right, you're right. And I've said, well, go on. And we just kicked it off and we're chatting and we see like we even got a mutual and that. And you know what I mean? Like it, things are just flowing and like every man kind of comes from the same kind of background, the same kind of struggles. And everything. so it's just good that with doing all these videos, I'm getting to meet more people who are like-minded, who are trying to step up, we're interacting. You get what I'm saying? So like, I think before the videos, if you saw me out and about, you just thought, right, my man's motionless, hard face, you don't smile.
but these times, my nephew tell you, me and him always, from when he was little, we're busting the maddest jokes. Like, I'm, I'm literally like a clown. Like, that's the best way to put it, I'm a character. But most people in our family are characters. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. That, that's the that's the one thing he he will tell you. Like, I, I I got OCD with cleaning. So the moment everyone leaves the house, I'm gonna take take my my mop and start cleaning all the floors, cleaning everything. But that's just habit, innit? I hope you like this series of videos. More to come in. Uh, yeah, keep supporting. I'm seeing the comments. I'm re responding to as much people as possible. And yeah, I like the feedback. Love.